Hey y'all! Wow, it has been a hot minute since I have picked up this camera. I'm not even sure I remember how to use this thing. But it has been close to three months since I've uploaded a YouTube video and Kat's just been a little crazy. And so I have not picked up the camera because I just haven't felt like I've had a lot to share. But I feel like it's time to come back. I miss YouTube. This is such a great creative outlet for me. And I feel like I have some good to share with the world. So what exactly has happened the last three months? I thought we'd just do a quick little knock out any of the big highlights that have happened. And there really hasn't been a lot, but I'll share them with you. First and foremost, I have worked a lot especially on my Girl Gone Grillin' brand. I have been cranking out a ton of recipe videos, making all kinds of good things. So if you ever wanna check that out and stay caught up with me on that platform, I will leave that down below in the description so you can check out my grilling, cooking, and barbecue content. Big surprise here, um, I hatched out more chickens. That's all I have to say about that. One of the bigger ordeals was Bo hurt his eye. And for six weeks, we were battling this eye issue. It took two different eye procedures. We had to see a doggy eye specialist, but thankfully his eye looks almost 100% back to normal. Thank God. A big thing that has happened is Cody took a new job opportunity and he is now a store manager. He is at work right now, but maybe later this afternoon when he gets home, he can pop in to say hello. And the last thing I have to share with y'all is I've been working on myself. I am the lightest I've weighed in probably six to eight years. I am feeling the best I've felt in a very long time. But we'll talk more about that later, but that's all I have to share right now. So let's just turn this into a day in my crazy life because there's no such thing as just a calm day around here anymore. As I walk out of the door to go get my grocery order, I thought I would show you two of my newest additions. So this is my new carport kitty. I believe it's an unfixed male. He showed up a couple weeks ago and now he is always here. I am working on taming him so I can go get him trapped and neutered. And yeah, he is a staple. He doesn't let me pet him yet, but he is always out here. Ain't that right? But he's still playing hard to get. He's gonna love me soon enough. And then before we even get to the car, there is yet another new addition. And it is a chicken. Two weeks ago, my mom showed up in her bathing suit at my door with this chicken. She was like, hey, I just found this in my yard. I'm bringing it to you. Never found the owners. And so she is up here in quarantine for the time being, trying to make sure there's no diseases she could give to my other chicken. So she's out here with her fan, I come and give her attention. I really don't know what to do with her yet, but I'm just over here keeping her happy and healthy and figuring out what my next plan of action is. In the car, and the first thing we're doing this morning is heading to HEB for a grocery pickup. I just filled up my Stanley full of water. I'm gonna try and sip down as much of this as I can because I need to do better about drinking water. It has felt like 110 outside, and I think I'm dehydrating myself just because it is so flipping hot. So, drinking water, gonna go get my groceries. I gotta run by my parents' house because we stole my dad's WD-40 to fix the boat yesterday, so I need to go drop that off. But yeah, let's, let's go, let's go do this. Just got to HEB, checked in, and in a moment they'll bring out our groceries. After a very frustrating debacle of getting stuck at the train for over half an hour, I am home with the groceries and I thought I would do a quick little grocery haul. Got some parsley, cilantro for the rabbits, some limes, some diced green chilies, diced jalapenos, some red enchilada sauce because I'm gonna do like a healthier take on enchiladas for dinner tonight. I'm gonna throw this chicken in the crock pot so I can shred that up for the enchiladas. I have a rotisserie chicken because I'm gonna make some jalapeno chicken salad later today for Cody to take to work this week. I know some of y'all are gonna be mad at me but I did buy some pre-sliced veggies because that's just gonna make the chicken salad a million times easier. 
some carb balanced tortillas, some chicken broth, Mexican cheese, sour cream, light sour cream, some laughing cow cheese, some raspberries, and some diced white onion. So yeah, just a little grocery haul, but have a couple of things I'm gonna make with these ingredients. Groceries are put away and we're about to go outside and check on the birds. It has been so hot here in Texas that it has been almost a full-time job trying to keep them alive and not dead from heat stroke. But today, I move some baby chicks and their moms into the coop. So let's make sure everyone is still alive. Over here, we have Mama and her babies. All looks good there. Ma'am, where are your kids? I hope that they're hanging out under here. Let's use the camera. Oh, there's some babies under there. All right, all good there. Well, looks good in here. She's in here with her three children. And lastly, we have this absolute psycho cat who looks to have rounded up all of her kids. So all is well in the chicken coop. I realize that this is a really like sharp 180 pivot from the last video of like, look at all my baby chicks to, uh, yeah, now we're gonna tear apart this rotisserie chicken I really do not want to do this at this moment, but I'm going to thank myself later because tearing apart a rotisserie chicken and shredding it up is so much easier when it's warm and fresh than once you stick it in the fridge. It is awful. So let's get this ready for the chicken salad I'm going to make later today. Got the chicken shredded up and I guess I should have my helpers get a little treat because they've been sitting here whining the entire time. Gentle bow, gentle, gentle. Okay, that wasn't gentle. Cooper. Cooper's birthday was yesterday. He is now four years old. Look at those cutie patooties. And then we have Mr. Smokey. So Mr. Smokey was sick for months and he just wasn't acting normal. And in the last couple of weeks, he has fully returned to his 100% maniac, horrible self. So I'm very thankful for that, even though he is a absolute terrorist to this household. I figured I'd go ahead and just finish all of dinner prep right now so I don't have to worry about this later, and then I can feed myself lunch. So this is about four pounds of chicken breast that I stuck in the crock pot. Now I'm gonna add just a little chicken broth, maybe like, half a cup to a cup just to give it a little juice in there and this is going to be the shredded chicken I'm going to use in the enchiladas oh golly lid is on and now I'm just going to cook it on high for like four hours it should shred and be ready for a recipe later today it is 109 and I have not had any caffeine today so Let's brew us a cup of coffee. I love these Snickers donut shop pods, basically because they just smell really good. So we're gonna get that brewing. Ah, oh, dang it, I need water. Okay, now we can brew that into my hyper chiller. All right, it is now 1.20. I think it's finally time to feed myself something. So we're gonna make some lunch. I'm not sure if I've shared this recipe. I wouldn't even call it a recipe. But I don't know if I've shared this on YouTube or not, but it is one of my go-to recipes lately. It is so easy, it is low in carbs, and tasty. So let me show you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some andouille sausage. I like to get this chicken andouille sausage. And then some frozen veggies. So I have this frozen pepper and onion blend, and I do some frozen zucchini and yellow squash. You're also gonna need some laughing cow cheese wedges and some Cajun seasoning. I like slap your mama. I'm gonna use two and a half of these andouille sausage links because that'll give me at least 30 grams of protein in this meal just from the sausage. And I'm trying to do better by eating at least 30 grams of protein in each meal. So I'm just gonna slice these into tiny little sections because that's just how I like to eat my sausage is very thinly sliced. 
I'm gonna start by adding a little avocado oil into my skillet. I'm gonna add some of my frozen veggies. Oh, that is a lot of frozen veggies. Can I steal some off the top? Now some squash and a couple pieces of zucchini. And now I basically want these veggies to soften up and start cooking. So I'm just gonna mix them up a little bit and I'm gonna add a lid on and let them steam for a couple of minutes. My veggies are looking like they are cooking. So now I'm gonna add in my sausage. And we're gonna let that start browning. Give it some flavor all in here. My sausage and veggies are getting some color, which is what I like to see because it adds flavor. Now I'm gonna add two of these Laughing Cow cheese wedges and let them start melting into everything. And I'm gonna sprinkle on a little of my Cajun seasoning. I just sat down with my lunch and one thing about this, it is not gonna win a beauty pageant. It is ugly looking, but my golly, it tastes good. I served it alongside some raspberries for a little fruit and I also served myself way too much. I put a little too many veggies and now this serving is gigantic. While this is like a gigantic portion, you have to remember I am eating two meals a day. So this is a pretty big amount, but all in all, I think the calories on this are less than 500 calories for all of this. And it's gonna be super filling and high in protein, what I need. So I'm gonna eat as much of this as I can along with my raspberries. I have my iced coffee, which was just that coffee y'all saw me brew, a little splash of half and half and some stevia. And then I have my water. I'm about to sit here, eat this, watch some TikToks and just get some nourishment in my body because I have not had anything but water and it is 1.49 p.m. I should make it known that there is no way I was able to eat all of that. So I just boxed it up and I guess that's gonna be part of my lunch tomorrow. It's been about an hour and a half since I checked in with y'all. I've been sitting right here on my computer getting some work done. I had a post going live today with Swift Meats. It was a homemade rib sandwich and oh my god I'm so proud of how that recipe turned out. It just looks so good on camera. So um Here's a little sneak peek. While the ribs finish up, grab a large loaf of bread and split it down the middle. I spread QP mayo all over both sides of my bread, and then I threw it in the oven at 350 to let it toast. Just look at how good these ribs look. It's time to make our sandwich. Set down your bottom bun and place those tasty ribs right on top. And if you cook these right, these bones should slide on out like butter. And you have yourself a rib sandwich. Didn't that look good? It was so good. But um, now that I got that posted, I'm just sitting here answering some emails, doing just like the back end of what I do that I just am not very good at. I hate answering emails, but I'm sitting here getting it done. And yeah, I gotta figure out what I need to do next with my life, but I'll sit here a little bit longer and get some work done. A couple weeks ago, the mail lady got stuck in my yard, sunk herself, had to call someone to come pull her out. And apparently she didn't learn her lesson. I guess she does know it's been dry, but as you can see, there's tire marks through the whole front of my yard. She gives zero cares about that. But yeah, okay. <laughs> Thanks, lady. I just got a notification from the vet that Bo has his medicine ready for pickup. So we're running over there to grab that because I ran out this morning. Meds have been acquired. Bo and I both take the same thyroid medicine. So I guess if I ever run out, I can just take one of his. <laughs> All right, back home to continue trying to do something productive with my day. It's 5.50, Cody is on his way home from work and I wanna go ahead and just whip up this jalapeno chicken salad so I can get that all thrown together. The chicken in the crock pot is done. I'm gonna shred that up and I'll be ready to eventually throw together dinner this evening. So, let's do the chicken salad. First thing I'm doing is just gonna dice this rotisserie chicken into much smaller pieces. I just diced up all my chicken pretty finely, so I'm gonna add that into a bowl. Now I'm gonna do like a half cup of light mayo. 
a half cup of light sour cream, half cup of chopped celery, a half cup of diced bell pepper, a half cup of diced red onion. Add some chopped parsley here if you'd like, but I don't really like the parsley they gave me at the grocery store, so I'm just gonna add in a fourth of a cup of diced jalapenos now. Some salt, some pepper. Now I'm gonna squeeze like a tablespoon or so of lime juice. And now we just stir this all together. And it's as simple as that. Just gonna pop this in the fridge and we can eat it later this week. I kind of forgot about shutting this chicken off early. So it cooked for the full four hours on high. But now I should easily just be able to shred this apart with some forks. Simple as that. I'll drain off all that extra juice and I will have chicken for my enchiladas. Easy peasy. Before I put this up in the shed, I needed to do a deep clean on my crawfish cooker. So just did a good old scrub and I'm gonna leave it out here open to dry out so it can go up in the shed in the next couple of days. And now over here, we have the tree graveyard in my front yard because every single one of my trees on my property has just kind of decided that they just like to drop these gigantic branches. And until we have rain, we are not burning all of them because that is a massive fire hazard. So it's just tree graveyard. Isn't that nice? I'm sure there's 107 snakes living in there. So I just try and avoid getting too close to it. And hopefully this weekend we can burn it. I talked a lot about those enchiladas I'm supposed to be making for dinner tonight, but I've been out here refreshing waters, filling feeders. I've been cleaning the crawfish pot. I've been picking up out here. And it is now 7.47. I don't think I'm making the homemade enchiladas tonight. I don't know what we're eating for dinner, but I don't think I have time to go whip up some homemade enchiladas. However, if you would like to see that recipe, I can film a video or like a reel or a short or whatever it's called, a short video tomorrow when I make them, if y'all are interested in that. I just am kind of running out of time and we're going fishing in the morning and we got to re-spool all of our reels. So it's just a lot on my plate right now and I don't think the enchiladas are gonna happen. My bad, I'm sorry y'all. I just think it's so cute when you can see the little baby's head sticking up through mama's feathers. Is that not this cutest thing? Well, Cody gets leftover chicken salad chick for dinner mm. because uh, I'm not doing enchiladas. Is it good? Mm-hmm. For dinner, I'm gonna heat me up one of these Real Good Foods Chicken and Pepper Jack Cheese Burritos. I got these at Costco, and I just like that they have 37 grams of protein in not that big of a wrap, so it's easy to eat. But if you buy these, just know they have absolutely zero flavor. I don't know why they did not like just put some salt in them but they have no flavor. So unless you plan to dip them in something, I don't recommend them, but I'll dip them in salsa and I'll show you that in a minute once I heat them up in the microwave and the toaster oven. Here's what the burrito looks like in all its glory. I serve it with a little salsa and I put some salt in there since this apparently has no flavoring. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be dinner. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Cody, you wanna say hi to the vlog? Hey y'all. <laughs> I am tired. I have cleaned five fishing reels, re-spooled them, and now I'm throwing everything we need on them to catch fish tomorrow. And he's, I'm worn out. He's tired. He worked all day and I feel kind of bad, but we're getting all the fishing poles ready to go fishing. There's no we <laughs> to get the fishing poles ready. Hey, I Cody. <laughs> As we get the fishing poles I ready. found some line for you. Thanks. Helped out a lot. <laughs> but I wanted to make sure y'all saw his face in the vlog today. It's been a hot minute. Yeah. All right. I'll leave you alone now. All Thank right. You. Time to go eat our flavorful burrito. I'm outside letting the dogs go potty for the night. And I figured I would just go ahead and close this vlog. I've rambled a lot today. And I could keep rambling about so much stuff. 
but I will save that for the next vlog. I am just feeling very chaotic in my life right now and one of the big things that I want to focus on is making my life less chaotic. I just have crap everywhere. Nothing looks good and I just feel like that is something I really need to focus on in the coming months because I think if my house and everything was less chaotic I would feel less crazy. So look for those videos in the future if you're an organizer or a helper in Houston uh, reach out to me because I would hire someone to help me my housekeeper is out of town for six weeks feel like my life is falling apart I didn't realize how much I loved her and depend on her to keep me together but anyways lots to come I love talking on YouTube it just feels so good to just be able to like long form talk because the new thing is just like one minute videos and I like can't say anything in those so I've enjoyed this. I've missed you, YouTube, and I'll be back again soon. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon in another video. Bye, guys.